All right, so we're in the edit bay doing some data management today. I wanna to show you a really incredible app that lets you catalog your archive drives or any hard drives that you don't have connected to your computer at all times, but you wanna be able to search those hard drives and see what's on them without having to connect them each time. So let's quickly just do an overview of my setup. I've got a two terabyte M1 Max Mac Studio as my main computer, and I store all of my current YouTube videos on that computer. I also have a Pegasus 2 R8 with 24 terabytes of storage and a duplicate Pegasus 2 R8 with 24 terabytes of storage to back that up. I also have some extensive archives. My YouTube archives are on these portable external hard drives, whereas my client work are on these internal hard drives that you would plug into like a dock or a toaster in order to access them. I also have all of these drives backed up to eight terabyte Seagate hard drives. So there's a lot of data that's managed across my entire system. And I always wanna be able to look at what's on those hard drives without having to go back into the studio, grab the hard drive, get a USB cable, sometimes a power adapter, plug them in, and then look through Finder at what's on those drives. I'm gonna show you the app that I use that lets me catalog all those drives and look at them without having to plug them in. So today I'm doing a little bit of data management. And the first thing that I need to do is I need to copy some footage from my Mac Studio over to my Pegasus 2 R8. So I'm gonna take all of this stuff and copy it through here, through Finder, to my Pegasus 2 R8, just by dragging and dropping between windows. And you're gonna see we've got about 222 gigabytes of footage that we need to transfer over. These are YouTube videos that I've finished and published to my YouTube channel, and I'm ready to free up some space on my M1 Max Mac Studio by transferring them over to this Pegasus. Once that Pegasus 2 R8 starts reaching capacity though, I need to offload it to my YouTube archives. And I've just been setting up my third YouTube archive drive, that's four terabytes in capacity, so I can offload most of the videos I've done in 2022. So while all that's transferring over, we're gonna take a look at one of my YouTube archive drives through an application that allows me to catalog those drives it's an application called NeoFinder. For me, NeoFinder is an essential app in any kind of serious data management workflow, and I've been using it to catalog all of my archive drives for a few years now. So you can see here in NeoFinder, I've got all of these main archives, which is from all the years of client work that I've done. And then I have the backups to all those archive drives. I also have some drives for my YouTube channel. You can see I've got archive one, archive two, and then this newest one, archive three. Now I've copied a bunch of media over to Archive 3, and you can see I've got it cataloged already. You've got 2021 and 2022 videos here, but I've recently transferred some additional files to this drive to max it out, so I need to update this catalog of the drive. To do that, I'm gonna hit Command U on my keyboard with the drive selected over here in the sidebar, and then hit OK, and NeoFinder's gonna analyze all the files and folders on that hard drive to bring the catalog back up to date. This process can take a little while because it's not only looking at all the files and folders, but it's also generating some small resolution thumbnails for video and photo files so that you can actually see a thumbnail of the video or photo in the catalog without having to plug in your drive to check it there. So you can see we've got this all done, all of the videos from 2021 and part of the videos from 2022, including YouTube Shorts and YouTube member videos have been added to this drive and are now cataloged in NeoFinder. Now for NeoFinder to do an update of the catalog or to catalog one of your drives or what they call a volume, you have to have the drive connected. But once you've got that catalog completed, you no longer have to have the drive connected to view the files and folders that are on that drive. And that makes NeoFinder a really special app if you do really extensive archiving of your client or YouTube videos. Our YouTube Archive 3 drive has been backed up to our YouTube YouTube Archive 3 backup drive. So now they are mirror images of each other. Everything is synced completely. So the next thing we need to do is we need to catalog that backup drive. Yes, we want the backup drive cataloged in addition to the main drive. So we're gonna go up to File here in NeoFinder, choose New Catalog from Volume, and then we're gonna navigate to the drive that we want it to, uh, to catalog. So let's go to this, and then we'll hit Start and then hit OK. Now, while this is creating the catalog, I wanna show you a little tip on where you should store your catalog file 
so that you can access your archive across multiple systems. So if you just work with one computer, a Mac Studio, a MacBook Pro, a Mac Mini, you don't necessarily need to do this, but I have a Mac Studio and then my MacBook Pro, and sometimes I wanna access my archives remotely just to make sure I know where something is. So what I do up in Neo Finder is I go to settings, and I actually have the database folder location in my Dropbox so that I can point my MacBook Pro and the Mac Studio to this folder. And if you were working in a multi-editor environment where you wanted all of your editors to be able to see what your archives were, this is a great way to do that. All right, so NeoFinder is done cataloging the backup drive for my YouTube Archive 3 drive. And you can see it down here in the left in the sidebar. So I'm gonna add it to my YouTube folder, just drop it in here. And now it's down at the bottom and you can see we've got our 2021 2022 folders on three and then in the backup drive we have everything matching perfectly between the two so that's today's workflow tip as far as data management goes so definitely a great app and i highly suggest checking it out an essential app in my data management workflow that's all i've got for this one everyone thanks for watching until the next one i'll see you all soon don't forget keep chopping that broccoli